So I have a student who asks a very good question on one of my prior YouTube clips about uh, how and when he should go through my audio QBank. Now on my website, and I will include a link in the description below, I have an audio QBank, okay, where the more recent questions have videos, but the older questions, most of them, are literally just questions I've written, which I've based off the NBME exams, okay, they're unique questions, but they're based off of what I've seen on NBME, and then I leave audio explanations, okay? And they're very effective to use if you're on downtime, e.g. you're commuting or you're at the gym, okay? I've received very good feedback from students that they will listen to my audio QBank questions when they're in their car, okay, or they're at the gym. So I don't recommend you use my audio QBank uh, over the NBME exams? Absolutely not. It doesn't work like that. Just think of it as a resource. Audio is its own niche, okay? You can use audio when you're on downtime. And then when you can actually sit and do work, yes, you're going to do NBME questions, you're going to do UWorld, uh, but you, I don't want it to be a situation where you're not making inroads through UWorld or you're not making inroads memorizing the, the NBME exams as I've talked about in prior clips because you're doing my audio QBank. Allow the audio QBank to stay as a niche for when you're on downtime, at the gym, when you're commuting, when you're cooking, those types of situations. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time, that's it.